Hi guys, um, I've, I've received a few questions about the um, expert panel um, assignment that I sent you earlier this week and I just wanted to kind of try to clarify a little bit now that I'm back at the office and I can create a video. Um, so the document that I sent you looks like this um, and you'll notice that it, at the top this is the scale that we're going to ask people to use to answer the, the items. Um, you'll see five different um, standards of the nets. So this right here is a standard. Um, and then underneath the standard you'll see possible positive items and um, possible negative items. And so each item corresponds to um, one of the items in the standard. So this intro item corresponds or is supposed to correspond with this, this item here or this part here. Um, a should correspond to A. Um, so when I say, you know, check to make sure that the item um, matches what we're trying to measure, um, make sure that, that it, you know, that there's some correlation there. Um, so you'll also see this again down under the negative statements. So these are items that we've designed to sort of offset the positive items. Um, it helps add further uh, validity to the, the instrument. So we have to have both positive and negative items. Um, and so, um, again, these will correlate with that intro negative statement should um, negatively correlate with this um, section of the standard. So what I'd like you to do is just, for each item, um, insert a com comment under the review tab and answer the questions that I sent you on Monday night. So is this item applicable to the standard that's referenced? So is it applicable to the intro? Um, you know, does this, is this item clear? Um, is a teacher going to understand what it's saying? Is it um, behavioral in nature? Um, how, how does it read? Should it be reworded? And so just add your comments here to answer those questions. Um, and if you think an item needs to be clarified, give, you know, just clarify it here in the comments. Um, and then, um, so you'll do that for each item. When you come to items where we've had, we've created multiple items, um, tell me which of these is the best. Um, and so you'll go through for all five standards. There's quite a few um, items here. Um, and at the end is where I want you to add in your section about the validity of the questionnaire as a whole, whether it represents as a whole the content of the standards, whether it's appropriate um, for teachers, pre-service teachers and administrators, um, and is it comprehensive enough? And then also down here at the bottom, you can add your two names for the instrument that you think we ought to use. So hopefully this video is helpful um, in sort of some further scaffolding what I sent you on Monday night. And I really appreciate you guys serving on the expert panel. I do need it no later than Sunday evening um, so that Dr. Gentry and I can begin compiling the survey.